Moving on now, the House of Representatives Committee on Customs and Excise has threatened to delay banks who are not remitting customs duties despite owing huge amounts. The committee says this move becomes imperative following leakages discovered in most revenue-generating agencies and it is committed to blocking them to shore up more revenue for the federal government. Manleki Abeji they said the committee organized the interactive hearing with the aim of tracking monies collected by banks as custom duties but were not remitted to the service. We are determined. And I want to just tell you now, we have not done so much in our investigation. We have only checked only five banks. And I can tell you now authoritatively that we have discovered 10.6 billion against only five banks. Five out of the 18 banks invited appeared before the committee. These include the GTB Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, Primo's Bank, United Bank for Africa, and EcoBank. The invitation is to give an account of unremitted 10.6 million naira discovered by consultant auditors, and they wasted no time supplying the needed information to the committee. Be rest assured that as a very credible bank in the country, we cannot understand, say today there is any information that we cannot be able to, um, if we are not talking about the physical document. Physical documents have been burnt, but we'll go back to our system and bring the electronic information, you understand, on the remittances uh, covered by a short period. We got this letter to the three. We've gone to, we've done a lot around the reconciliation within the bank and we have all the findings showed that we didn't have any um, unremitted amount and we provided the evidence because all those items which are lighted as unremitted they were actually remitted. The SLA did not state that we should adopt any particular software. It does not state that. Any, any any application. The SLA did not state that. It did not even state we should use pay direct. We are happy, like I said, the reconciliation is ongoing. We had to come for this meeting. If you give us time, we will conclude the reconciliation and prove to you that we are not owing one naira to custom service or to the Nigerian government. A representative of UBA was sent out because neither the MD nor the executive director showed up, but was, however, given another date to appear. Providor's Bank was able to impress the committee with their payment performance. The committee will resume sitting in two weeks when all the banks will appear with all documents requested or evidence of payment. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.